Jenny from Potomac Highlands Regional Jail and I'm going to talk to you about slope. Slope is the measure of steepness of a line. So if we take a look at this picture here, we can see that these hikers are walking up a mountain. The mountain that they are walking up, we could measure the slope of this line right here to determine how steep of an angle they are climbing. Before we get started with formulas, let's just talk about the different types of slope. Okay? A slope from left to right that goes up is a positive slope. A negative slope from the left side to the right side goes down. And we have no slope if we have a straight line across horizontally. And then we also have an undefined slope if it goes straight up and down. The equation of a line in standard form can be seen as y equals mx plus b. m is representing your slope, and b represents the um, y-intercept on a graph. formula here, 2x minus y equals negative 3, we could rewrite this to turn it into standard form using algebra to get the y variable by itself. To do that, we would subtract 2x on both sides of the equation. These would cancel out and we would drop our negative y down. Now, we cannot combine these unlike terms so we're just going to rewrite them as negative 2x minus 3. The last step here is that we still want to get our negative y and just make it positive, which means we would have to divide by negative 1 on both sides of the equation. That way the negatives will cancel out and we'll have y by itself. These will also cancel, so we'll have a positive 2x plus 3. We now have a line in standard form. 2 would be our slope and a positive 3 would be our y-intercept if we are looking at a graph. Now, if you're given a line on a graph, you can quickly determine your slope using the rise over run formula. It's very simple. You take a look at the line and you find two points on your line. It could be any two points on that line. And what you're going to do is create a triangle. You're then going to count the number of squares that you rise and the number of squares that you run. And it always goes rise over run. So in this example, we rise four and we write that on top. And then we run 3, and we put that on bottom. And because we are moving from left to right and our line goes up, we know that we have a positive slope. So therefore, our slope is 4 over 3. If we take another look at this line, we can do the same thing. We're given our line on a graph, so let's create the triangle. The first thing we're going to do is count our rise. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 points up. And then we're going to run 1, 2, 3. But if you notice, from left to right, our arrow is moving in a downward direction, which means that we will have a negative slope. And we can also reduce this fraction so that we see it be a negative 2. Now, if you are not provided with 
the line actually on a graph, you can also solve for slope as long as you're given two coordinate points on a line. The formula that you will use is slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You can also find this formula on the task reference sheet, so it's not a formula that you need to memorize. Let's try an example. So find the slope of a line that passes through the points 2, 5, and negative 3, 1. I've labeled the points here x1, y1, and x2, y2. By labeling your points, it will just help make it easier when you go to plug into your equation. So now let's go ahead and do that. y2 is 1 minus y1 is 5. We're going to put that over x2, which is negative 3, subtracted from x1, which is 2. Now we can go ahead and solve for this. 1 minus 5 is a negative 4. And negative 3 minus 2 is going to be a negative 5. The rules of integers and division says that if we have a negative divided by a negative, our answer will actually be positive. Therefore, our slope is going to be 4 fifths. And that means that we know that our line is moving in a positive direction upward. Let's go through and practice a few examples here. Find the equation of the line that has a slope of 6 and passes through the point negative 3, 5. Well, if we use our formula, we can plug in and solve for this. So, y equals mx plus b. Again, remember, that's just the standard formula for a line. Our slope of 6 is going to replace m. And they've given us one coordinate point, so we now know that we can plug in negative 3 is our x, and 5 is our y. At this point, we're just going to use basic algebra to solve this equation. 6 times, eight, or six times negative 3 will give us a negative 18 plus b. Now we must combine like terms, so we will add 18 on both sides of the equation. These will cancel out, and 18 plus 5, we know, is 23. So our y-intercept, we now know, is 23. If we were to find the equation, we're just going to rewrite this, and now plug in for our slope and our y-intercept. So y equals 6x plus 23. And that would be the equation of a line. Our next problem says to find the slope of a line that passes through the points 4, 3, and negative 5, negative 2. Well, if we're given two points and we are not given um, a line on a graph, then we're going to use our other formula to solve this problem. Slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so at this point, we're going to go ahead and solve. x1, y1, and x2, y2. 
So we're just going to go ahead and substitute in. So negative 2 minus 3 over negative 5 minus 4. A negative 2 and a negative 3 is going to give us a negative 5 over a negative 5 and a negative 4 will give us a negative 9. Again, because negative 5 divided by negative 9, a negative divided by a negative gives us a positive, our slope is going to be 5 ninths. Now we have a problem where we do have a graph involved. It says to find an equation for the given line in slope-intercept form. So let's go ahead and um, take a look at the points that we've been given. We know that our formula is y equals mx plus b. Well, b represents the y-intercept where the line crosses the y-axis. We now know, based on this knowledge, that b is going to represent negative 4. So the next thing we need to know is what's our slope? Well, we can use the rise over run method to solve for this. So if we want to keep it simple, let's pick two closer dots and connect them in a triangle. And we're going to do rise over run. Our rise is 2 and our run is 2. Therefore, our slope is going to be 1. And we know it's a positive 1 because from left to right, our line is moving in an upward direction. So now we have y equals x minus 4. We don't need to write the 1 in front of the x. Um, it's just a given, if it's not there, that we know that the slope then is 1. If you'd like to, it's not wrong to put that 1 in front, and some people do choose to do that. So at this point, we know that our equation of a line is equal to uh, x minus 4. One more example. Match the equation y equals 2x plus 3 with the graph. Well, the first thing I'm going to do to solve this problem is look at my y-intercept, which is a positive 3. And only one graph on this line has a positive 3 y-intercept. So this question is actually very simple. Line n, this first line right here, is the line that matches that equation. If I also needed to, I could determine my slope if I just match up two points on my line. Okay? And if I do rise over run, I can see that my rise is 2 and my run is 1. Therefore, my slope is 2, which would match the equation that they provided us. So again, a very easy way to solve this problem. And that's going to be it for Slope. Um, thank you for tuning in, and if you have any further questions, please visit our help desk, or always feel free to contact us. Thank you.